Hey guys, this video here is going to be uh, putting a crankcase together on this 372. I'm going to show you the best way to do that. Um, before you put it together, this is your oil line. Now, you want to blow through it, make sure it's open. Because some of them, like this hole right here, it's like cast it over. So, I've seen a couple guys talk about that. Little filter. Put your filter on there. Make sure she's seated in there. It's open. Okay, bingo. Start right into your case. Just like that. You could do it without it, but I prefer. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I think I'm gonna install. Yeah, let's do, the, let's do the clutch side because it might be a little easier. It's that NWP crank. Definitely pretty heavy dude. Hardly any thing play there. Make sure you install it on the right. End. Breaks open. Make sure when you put this crank in here, see this end? It's where your clutch goes. See your bar studs? That's obviously the clutch side. Like this. Take this. This is the Hustle Vorn tool. Okay. How this all goes on, put this in right here. Yeah, when I installed these bearings in, see this adapter, three-quarter drive adapter? I know I didn't point it out in the last video, but it hits right on the outside race. You never want to pound on this a wee little bit, but not hard, but that's why I use this, so it fits perfect in there. That's what I did. Okay, let's get this puppy cranked in. All right. Reverse threads on this. Make sure it seats. Okay. Make sure you watch your rod because you can bind up your rod and it ain't going to be too fun. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Almost, huh? I was going to try a gum band, but thought about it. Hold that. Let's do it this way. Hold one finger. Yep. That's why this can be a challenge, this part, definitely. There we go. You got it.
little learning curve here. Yeah, my goal with building these saws is to make them run as good, if not better, than OEM. That's my goal. Like my 391 I built. You can see the video. There's two videos I did. It's called 391 Cutting Faster. It's only what I had to cut was getting at the end of the year. Weather was getting bad. I couldn't get any more wood. So, it really runs good. I learned so much from that. I decided to try to get into building these farmer techs. No stop. No scatter. You can use that tool to center the crank as well. A little more intricate, but it can be done. There we go. Alrighty. Perfect. I know you can freeze it and all that. Put it in there, heat the bearing up. Yeah. My personal preference, <coughs> I choose not to. So I got a lot of experience with uh, putting bearings in, like precision bearings, hobbin bearings, and diff you know differential bearings. So, sometimes the tool just makes it easier. I mean, if you've got SKF bearings, obviously you want to use the shrink fit method. I'm sure everything's, ooh, look at that. Butter. All right. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Now what I have here, that's why it's important to uh, mark your bolts. Makes it so much easier so you can just put it together. Case bolts, these are the head bolts. Alright, let's get some of this Moto Seal. Good stuff. Some say you don't have to, but you know what? I'd rather. I'd rather do it, make sure everything's in. I'm probably going to be editing this sock because... Alright, now let's put this case in. Okay. Alright, this is the fun part. Same thing, gotta unscrew this. Okay, she's down. Oh yeah, she's up. smooth as butter. All right. As you hear him talking about that uh, big boom in Pittsburgh. Well, 
they're saying it's an asteroid, but I'm not so sure. What I think it is, you know, they've seen a, a green blip on the radar. That could be what's known as a uh, quake boom, if you ever heard of that. It's whenever the fault lines shift almost as fast as the speed of sound and creates like a sonic boom. Remember years ago, I was studying about the Great Earthquake of 1811, and there were soldiers talking about it. I found old notes from soldiers. It was very interesting online, talking about, he said, it sounded like artillery fire, but it wasn't. It was the uh, fault line, fault line shifting. Pretty interesting. It's characteristic of uh, like the Northeast and all the way from Missouri to Mississippi for that to happen. Yep. Oh yeah, I know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. This is the tricky part here. If I can get her lined up. She lined up. I think so. I think we got it. I think we got her. Almost got her, boy. That's the tricky part about this thing. Oh boy, do we have it? Think so. Bingo. Boy. Feel the seal pressure. Feels good. Now I think we're going to get this crankcase tight. Six crankcase bolts. these go, if you don't know, one here, way over here, and you obviously got four around there. Yeah, that earthquake of 1811, they don't talk too much about it. They said all the way from, it's called the New Madrid Fault Line. It goes from Missouri to Mississippi. It's a theoretical thing because it defies some of the laws of uh, plate tectonics, but it definitely happens. Be about uh, 250 to 500 years. Last time it happened was 1811. I guess I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's just interesting to study. Man, I think I got that crank centered. <laughs> I didn't even, I just put it in. Better play a lottery tonight. This, this is eight newton meters, so we'll do yeah, 
70, it converts to 70 inch pounds. Okay. Let's do a little at a time. Tight and go. All right, man. See, she rotates. Yes, sir. Perfect. I'm gonna let this set up, and I gotta uh, put the piston on, check my timing, and all that. But uh, yeah, that is interesting about that, about the Great Earthquake of 1811. Check it out. They said there was literally earthquakes for like a whole month or two. And then there was like tons of aftershocks. They felt it all the way from the East Coast all the way to uh, like Missouri to Mississippi. That's where the fault line is. Yep. I don't think they want people knowing about that stuff, but... I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it, it, it's possible. Hey, anything's possible, you know. But, yeah, just share a little knowledge. I, I know a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But All right, guys. I think this is going to be a fun build here. Hey, guys, till next time, keep on feeling the heat.